first time I had goose was at uh, my well, my grandfather was a majority partner in a restaurant called Harry's Cafe. So there was an old guy there. He was making goose. So he was telling everybody, This is the goose. This is the goose. So then I remember what goose is. And, uh, oh, that's a nice The one. neck is really tasty. Mmm. Because uh, goose meat is a little tastier than duck. Also, the meat is a little more um, stronger texture. Actually, I like goose very much. When I was in China, I had a lot of goose. I ordered uh, goose here, so it's pretty famous here for goose. I'm just gonna have a little piece of it. I'm gonna have it with uh, rice and noodles. Tom Simpson? Okay. That's just too much for me, but okay. Today we're doing roast goose, so we have a nice young goose here, which uh, I wash uh, with uh, cold water with salt, and then I put a, a layer of salt throughout the whole roast goose, and then I just cut off the um, the wings. So there's two wings I cut off. So I'm gonna cook these uh, with the uh, roast. Then I'm going to enjoy these uh, as a little delicacy before the roast is finished. Just a little extra snack for myself. Stuff the cavity with uh, slices of ginger and uh, these stalks of uh, green onions. I have a young goose here. It's about uh, six pounds or so. And then now I'm just going to poke some holes into the skin with a fork all over the skin. We're going to make a simple marinade. I'm going to use uh, chiho sauce, also known as chuho paste. So this uh, sauce consists of uh, soybeans uh, sauce with uh, a bean curd. So you can use hoisin sauce. Hoisin sauce is similar. It's a bean sauce with uh, chili or you can use a bean sauce or you can use a Chinese barbecue sauce. So I'm going to put about uh, five or six tablespoons of this uh, chiho sauce. So the extra sauce I'm going to use for marinade. So we're just going to put about six uh, tablespoons here. That's six tablespoons of sauce, uh, chiho sauce. I think I'll put a couple tablespoons of my favorite sauce, the uh, oyster flavor sauce. So I'll put a couple tablespoons of this oyster flavor sauce. That should do it. So I'm going to put some uh, light soy sauce. So I'll put a couple tablespoons of that in there. It's a salty uh, sauce, uh, light soy sauce. This is uh, Chinese black vinegar, so I'm going to rub the uh, goose skin with this uh, black vinegar. So I'm going to put about two or three tablespoons of black vinegar, and uh, this is optional, so it gives a nice uh, taste on the skin. So I'm going to just rub this into the skin. So what I'm going to do is transfer this onto a, a roasting pan. So I just use this uh, tray. I put the paper napkins underneath it when I put it in the fridge overnight just to uh, soak up the moisture. I'm also going to uh, rub the uh, goose uh, wing with the uh, Chinese vinegar. So the rest of the uh, black vinegar, I'm just going to put it into the marinade. So this is the leftover from uh, just rubbing the, uh, the goose. Put some of this marinade on the uh, goose, so just rub it in. So you don't need a very thick coating, just a small light coating. Start with the underside first, just put a light coating of the uh, marinade on the goose. The neck is a pretty good delicacy, so I'm going to have some of that later. 
and in some places the uh, the head is also a delicacy so you cook it with the head usually in uh, China in the old days yeah whatever a bird uh, any kind of like a duck or a chicken or a goose they leave the head on it's uh, symbolic as well as sometimes they, they switch the head on the uh, on the bird so they as a proof they, they leave the head on so I put a <coughs> put a, a rack here but I, I could get a, a wire rack but a but I just use these uh, wire racks. So if I put the goose on the wire rack here, so it doesn't touch the surface. I'm going to finish marinating the goose, just put some of the sauce, the marinade, uh, on the surface. So don't, you don't need, like I said before, you don't need a heavy coating, just a light coating. Now I'm just going to put some of the sauce into the cavity. So I'm just going to use my hand, just to put it inside. I just put the uh, wings there. So the goose I'm going to cook at 425 degrees for about 20 minutes. So we have the goose, I'm going to check it. It's uh, about 20 minutes now. So it sees nicely uh, coming along. So now I'm going to turn down the heat to uh, 335 degrees. And we're going to cook it for Say two and a half to three hours at 335 degrees. Oh, that's a nice looking goose. So it's been about an hour right now, so I took the goose off. So I'm just going to baste the skin right now with the uh, sauce. Just a light coating. So the, the last uh, coating of sauce, I'm going to put some honey into this uh, base but for now I'm not putting honey because honey actually burns so I'll put it in last for the last uh, basting Ooh, that looks good so we're just going to baste the, uh, the goose right now with some honey so that's going to give it a nice shine also a nice sweet taste to balance the uh, saltiness of the uh, the chuho paste and the oyster sauce. Let's stick the uh, goose back in the oven for the final 15 minutes. So the goose, you cut up the same way as you do a uh, chicken or a, a duck. So uh, when I was in Beijing, the, the guy didn't like me very much because some Canadian guy went to Beijing and filmed the guy cutting off the duck head. So, you know, I ate the duck head. It's pretty tasty. But uh, the owner didn't like uh, people filming cutting off the duck head and then it went on social media and people complained about it. So this is the, the goose. Whoa, it's actually, goose actually tastes better than duck. It's got more flavor and the meat is a little more, I would say, uh, how do you describe it? More texture, like a little more chewy. And then uh, this is a young goose, so it's not really fat. Oh yeah, man, that goose is good, man. Wow, that goose is good because it's it's a sturdier bird. I'll tell you right now. There you have it, Cantonese roast goose, with lots of flavor. Enjoy. This is my recipe for vegan roast duck. So this is almost like a duck, but it has no meat in it. So the next episode on Chinese Cooking Channel, I'll be showing my recipe for vegan roast duck. Also like to wish all my viewers a happy Chinese New Year, especially during this pandemic. I wish everyone a safe and happy Chinese New Year. Thanks for all your support and stay safe and take care.